Alex here with ASM 101. Thanks for being here. In this video, what we're gonna be showing you is create the bottom bend on a standing seam metal roof panel. Uh, what I've done is I've made three separate videos that go over three different options to do so. Make sure to click to the next video at the end of this video to see the next option. And uh, where we get these options from is in a book that we love to use all the time. It's called Details and Sheet Metal Working Techniques. And um, what I'll do is I'll, I'll leave a link in the description below for you to pick one up for yourself. We're gonna be going over the, the eave bends and it just works its way up to more intermediate level uh, details. So make sure to pick up one of these books for yourself and start practicing. There's a lot of really great stuff in here. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, what I've gone and done first is just get some photocopies from the book. So there's the jig for number one here. Open that up more. I'm gonna keep it up from the bottom a little bit, drawing my, my lines. This radius here is very important. And then that little notch up there is also very important. We flip around to the other side here. A lot of this stuff can be done before um, the panel goes on the roof. But we're doing this in place just to show you how it's done when it's on the roof. Okay, so I'm just gonna line up my jig to that. What I did was I, I transferred the starter edge over because at the end of all this, this is gonna fold around this starter edge and hook onto the bottom of the roof. This one, I like to kind of spread them apart a bit. This one just gets cut straight down. On the roof, we get folded right under. This would be done first before this panel goes on, but for demonstration purposes, it's you just lift that panel up, put it under, and then pop it back down. Okay. Just gonna cut right to the lines that I uh, drew with the jig. Okay, and then we're gonna cut that little radius that I was talking about earlier. Radius very important. You can see if we were to bend this flat, right? There's that, and it turns into the seam here. That's why I had to bend it 90, right? Because it, it represents the seam. Forgot to notch one thing. The corner of that meets, that's where the edge of the notch is. We're gonna start by folding this edge around. And what the what the folders do give give a nice edge for that metal to bend around. So if I didn't, this would kind of all just kind of curl over on itself. When we hold it together nice, we get a nice crisp bend line. And then as we're forming it down, we're bringing this side down too. And you can see right here, the reason why it gets thin here in, in this part of the jig is so this can stretch. If it's too wide, it'll tear. So I'll just keep going. And as, as we're working it around, we can actually bring this down. And just be, Just get this right out of the way. Fold that right under. So I'm just going to bring this all down together as one. And you see, too, I made a little mistake here. You see how I made this kind of janky cut? We want, to, we want to see a lot smoother cut here because these little janks in the metal will start a tear. 
it kind of causes a weak point in the metal. I'm just coming here and clean that edge up a little bit. Okay, you see it's nice and smooth there now. That's gonna make a big difference. And I'm just, I'm just hitting right in here, trying to draw this metal apart from itself without tearing things. Right now it's stretching along this line here, but that's what we want. So it'll close it in nice. Right now, I'm just gonna bring this down as I'm going. And it closes everything right off. No pinhole, anything. And now, next I'm gonna start to fold, finish this top fold here. Right where that unbent line is, I'll just take my folders and crease it again. Just there. Before I start going in there with my hammer. Once that's done, we're back to normal. You just get the, the seamer in there. Just take the seamer, move it all up. Start it. So. So, you see right here, everything's folded in on itself. This end will never come undone. No Isn't that a nice way to finish the bottom of a standing seam panel? Click or tap the screen to see the next option. And guys, I really appreciate you being here. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.